I mean, it wouldn't be to be followed, the divorce rate being what it is these days, by our Tracy's wedding too, then you'll undoubtedly be interested in one of these. And of course, the rich best boys have been tracking down the rich best buys. Camcorders, that's a, a video camera and recorder all in one, are getting cheaper, smaller, and more gadgetful all the time. For instance, most of them can do this. Some of them can do something like this. None of them can do this yet, which is a blessing, but uh, who knows, time may tell. The most confusing thing about buying one of these things is the various formats available. The biggest and heaviest, not too bad though, are VHS camcorders, which use the same sort of tapes as you play on an ordinary VHS video. If you want better picture quality, then the new Super VHS camcorders should give you a sharper picture. You pay for the extra quality though because while the ordinary VHS camcorders cost around between 700 and 1,000 pounds, a super VHS will cost you around 1,500 pounds. Rather smaller are VHS-C camcorders, which use little tapes like these. But you can still play them in your normal video as long as you use a special adapter. Obviously, the smaller size of these makes VHS-C much more convenient for holidays and so on. 8mm camcorders use even smaller tapes. Now, the trouble is that these won't go into your ordinary video recorder, so to play them back, you either have to plug the camcorder into the back of your telly, or copy these tapes onto your home system. Now, there are camcorders on the market for as little, and I use that term lightly, as £500, but which reckon that these really are so basic it's worth paying extra for something a bit more sophisticated. Bearing that in mind, as well as the fact that improvement and price reductions are on the way all the time, and you might decide to hire rather than buy, especially if you only want it to film Our Tracy's Wedding 3, The Nightmare Continues. If you do decide to shell out, though, the best buys are top of the range at around £1,500, the Super VHS Bauer VCC 550 AF, or similar Panasonic NV MS1, both give good results. If you want something smaller and lighter, a new format, Super VHS-C, has recently come onto the market. This is supposed to give the size of VHS-C together with the quality of Super VHS. It came onto the market rather too recently, though, to be included in the test. But best of the bunch on standard VHS-C were the Bauer VCC 606 AF, Panasonic NVMC6, or Philips VKR6838, all at around £850. For £150 extra, you can get Bauer and Panasonic models with long play facility. And for an 8mm camcorder, the Sony CCD F340 at £1,000. Now, what's the point of having your own video camera if you can't use it to record a personal message? So, to all the people who sent me Get Well cards, to Alexis Sale, who did the Best Buys while I was poorly, and to all the doctors and nurses and auxiliaries at Stoke Mandeville and John Radcliffe Hospitals, thank you. Nice to see David back. Details of that report will be on our recorded information telephone line, and the number to ring is 0898 333 I'll give you the phone number again at the end of the programme. And remember, calls are charged at 25 pence a minute after 6pm and 38 pence a minute beforehand. It's also, by the way, on page 440 of Fortel. <laughs>